हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर डूइंग वेल दिस वीडियो विल कंटेन सम बोपिस एंड पॉइंट्स दैट वी कैन यूज फॉर रेडी टू शिप और फॉर रेडी फॉर पिकअप सो इन बोपिस टू मार्क आइटम्स रेडी टू शिप और रेडी फॉर पिकअप वी विल नीड टू कॉल दिस क्विक शिप एंटायर शिप ग्रुप एंड पॉइंट विद द पोस्ट मैथड Uh, the first case is the to ready to ship the ordered items in that case we will be using this api with update shipment uh, api as well update shipment will basically update the status of the shipment and uh, uh, if we want ready for pickup then we can only use this api as well in an order if all the items are directly available then we can use this api to ship the order generally what happened is that when any order is placed by the customer firstly the item reservation is done after that the pick list is created then shipment is created and after that ordered item is shipped to the customer this is the process for shipping any item to the customer now this Uh, api is helpful because all this three to four steps that are required for any shipment is performed only in this api this whole process can be done using this api that is item reservation pick list creation shipment creation and finally the shipment the item is shipped to the customer so this four steps can be easily done Uh, by the help of this api this uh, is the payload and these are the required parameters or attributes that we have to pass if we are using this apis the first one is order id this attribute contains the unique id of the order next one is set pack only which is a flag flag if the user only wants to pack the order this uh, if we pass this attribute it only marks ready to ship or ready for pickup it doesn't mark it directly shipped after that we have dimension uom id uom uom generally stands for unit of measure so this attribute contains the dimension uom of the shipment package then we have shipment box type id this attribute contains the type of bo box used in the shipment then we have weight this attribute contains the weight of the shipment then we have weight uom id this attribute contains the weight uom of the shipment after that we are having facility id this attribute contains the unique id of the shipment ship from the facility then we have ship group c a uh, sq id this attribute contains ship group sequence id this is the payload we have order id we have set the flag to y then dimension uom id shipment box type id weight then weight uom id that is unit of measure we want it to be in kgs here also we want the dimension in uh, kgs so after that facility id and the ship group sequence id we are getting the response like this uh, our shipment is successfully shipped this is the case for ready for pickup if we want uh, any item ready for pickup then we can use only this but if we want it ready to ship then we have to update the shipment status as well and we can do this by using the update shipment api so the required parameters of this api will be shipment id and the status id so here the shipment status is set and the item is ready to ship uh, one case is uh, one more case is there that is of handover 
but first uh, i will be showing an example that how we we have used in an bopis app if we are marking the item ready to ship then we can see that ship this api is called along with this parameter passed in payload and we have also requested update ship shipment apis with this so basically to mark items ready to ship we have used this two apis now if we want the items ready for pickup then we have used only this now one more case is there that is handover if we are handing over the item uh, when we are handing over the item to the re respective customer then we are just updating its status using the ship update shipment endpoint so this is the three cases which uh, we have handled using the ship group uh, quick entire ship group api and update shipment api hope you like this video and uh, thank you so much for watching this video